What are the best golf clubs for the average golfer in 2022? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, today we have a very special guest. Andy, it's been ages. It's been a while. How are we? It's been a long, long time. Great to long see you. Long time. Glad to be here. We are here at the stunning Carden Park Golf Resort, beautiful resort, yeah. home of the Swedish Ladies National Football Team for the, the it week. It is for the next few weeks. It's uh, it's not the best of days, mate. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Because because we're here together. Yeah. And we're talking the best. So these are your best clubs or equipment, should we say? Yeah, I think for me, it's kind of like the five I've picked are kind of what I think are the best five clubs released in 2022 for the average golfers. Yeah. yeah? That's my so kind of So what mentality. are you playing off now, Andy? I'm nine. Nine? Yeah. Distinctly better than average, I would imagine. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see when I get this tee shot. <laughs> but I think the mentality of the channel is all about like kind of like looking at yeah. the perspective of kind of like, you know, mid to high handicap golfers and this first product I'm going to sort right. of... Uh, do we unveil, unveil it now? Do you want to hit it yeah. before we unveil it? Or, yeah, go on then. Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to have a go yeah. as well. So. Well, if I, if I hit it and things don't go too well, this could be a kind of, uh, <laughs> not, a, not a ringing endorsement. I also need a ball. Guys, make sure you stay tuned right to the end of this video because I have already wrote down in my notes my guesses for Andy's top five clubs for average golfers. Stay tuned, guys. See how many I can get out of five. Let's go and check out that next club. Have you got this one? I can't even see what it is. No, keep that in. <laughs> so the line is, it's quite a tough start. It's a dog leg right to left, um, but it's a real clever design. Obviously the bunkers are on the uh, dog leg straight, yeah. if you're okay. on the straight line. And we want to be trying to turn one over. If uh, oh. you can turn one over. I will leave that to you, because I know, I know your favorite shot's the big high draw. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, <laughs> I think that's known as the big high hook. But anyway, let's see how we- Guys, uh, I've linked down Andy's channel in the description below as well, so make sure you check it out. If you are an average first tee shot of the day is uh, the pressure's on here. Hit the fairway, they've got to go over and subscribe. Oh, is that perfect? Yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah, so do I announce the club right now? I feel pretty. Uh, go, go on then, because I'm going to hit it afterwards, but that, okay. that was. So it's a Cleveland Highwood. Right, I won't lie, um, that wasn't in my it's on notes. Your list. No. And to be fair, it's, it's quite new to me. I reviewed this about maybe three or four weeks ago. Yeah. And basically it's a cross between a hybrid and a fairway wood. I love that sole on it. That's yeah. going to help, isn't That's it? That's another so. interesting thing is cutting through the turf. So from a f fairway lie, it's been uh, really easy to pick up, but it's the kind of combination of the sort of, uh, the size of head is kind of that in between a hybrid and a fairway wood. Yeah. Length of shaft, close to the body. Again, I've been all about kind of trying to get control over yeah. the club head a bit more. And it does, I mean, that's 18 degrees is the loft. Yeah. It pops it up a little bit yeah, higher. Yeah, it's a than, nice flight though, say we're into yeah. the wind. Yeah, and it does, you know, for me, it's a couple of hundred yards. It's not the equivalent to a three wood. Yeah. I'd say it's more in line with a three hybrid. I'm gonna put the ball flight on the screen again now, because that was a- Yeah, big high flight. A resounding review. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm really pleased with that shot. and. You know, I mean, it doesn't always go well, but that's the kind of shot I would expect to get from it if I hit the ball decent. I feel under pressure now. Yeah, no, that was... Uh, was that, this your that, little that, green That's as good as I've here. got off here, I'll be honest with you. Oh, just a two and a half hour drive it was this morning. Yeah, and to be fair to yourself, the shaft is... Uh, that's going to be a lot lighter shaft than, than you would ever go near, so... 5.5 yeah. reg, so that should turn over nicely anyway. You know what, that sits down... I've never even seen this. That sits down wonderfully well. Super shot, yeah. You know, like for a club off the first tee, that's everything you want, yeah. isn't it? And that's the thing, it's just like, it's confidence inspiring. You don't have to do a great deal. The ball, again, seems to sort of fly out there with yourself fairly there easy go. as well, so yeah. So guys, first club of the day, Launcher XL Halo High Dash 3 Wood, three plus. Guys, go and check it out. So guys, for my guesswork, that is zero out of five so far, but that is two balls in the fairway. Andy, I'm a mid, well, that, they're perfect tee shots. Yeah, no, I take them every, honestly, it's, it's a tough start. And um, yeah, I'd take them any day of the week. So second tee here at the beautiful Carden Park. Andy, you've got another club for us. You, I have got just, another can club. We just have, you've had a bit of a battle with a fly. I've been hit severely in the eye been with a fly. And uh, yeah, so if that it's caused me a bit of grief. game now. That's then, the excuse. Yeah, absolutely. You'll um, notice this second club has got a head cover on it. Yeah. 
So it's clearly a... Looking at the shaft, I think I might know what that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it a specialist shaft for that club? Well, do you know what's interesting about this one? I think I might get DQ'd in terms of the year of release because it's supposed to be 2022. If it's still current, I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've gone so, with that as well. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. Guys, just so you know, we are doing a similar video over on Andy's channel, so go and check that out if you want my top five clubs of 2022-ish, kind of, if they're relevant now. So I'm hiding this one still. Are we going for the hit the ball first? Hit the ball first, mate, yeah, and then you talk us through it. See if we can hit another fairway, Andy. That would be a good start. This is a um, another fairly tight tee shot. That's another glorious ball flight. It should be good again. That should just carry that. And that's, yeah. yeah. That leaves not a lot in, to be fair. It's another fairway. Yeah. Should we go for the reveal? It was another draw as well. What is yeah. it? Oh, so, you know what? I've loved reviewing these this year. Yeah. Loved them. So, I've got to admit, first tour edge club I've ever tested. It was only about five, six weeks ago. I enjoyed your title on it as well. Okay, I can't remember what that was. You need this club or you won't buy this club or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of... First of all, it's a five hybrid, so they come with a bit of a stigma attached, I think is fair still to say. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it's kind of ladies club old man's club whatever you want to call it but seriously i i was so like i wouldn't have gone near one i tried yeah. it and it just again it, it it gets the ball up really high and i think a lot of people struggle with launching the ball um it's a fun club to hit yeah for me again five uh hybrid probably does about sort of 175 180 carry you can play it from the rough you, you know it's a good sort of versatile club and uh i you know again time for you to hit it and see yeah. what you think but and i know you've reviewed the the, the why i said that you've just reviewed the, the later the, version yeah yeah the smaller head and you one. were really loving it as well. i loved it yes yeah. so the big thing that i like about these clubs is the versatility so although this is a five hybrid i'm just wondering can i play it down a little bit and get it chasing down the fairway because if you can then these are literally the perfect clubs you get the forgiveness element you get that high launch can you get the little low ball flight Oh, wow. It's fading a bit. That's in that bunker, but it certainly did what I wanted it yeah, to yeah. do regards to yeah, the ball flight. Right. Lovely golf club. Guys, that's two out of the five. Am I going to guess all these right? Wait till the end and find out. So, guys, some very interesting clubs so far in Andy's top five clubs for the average golfer. He's acting very sheepish about this one because yeah. this is a club that I've not seen. I I've seen every golf club in the world, Andy. Yeah. Not this one. No, this is like the most interesting, probably the weirdest product that I've seen. For, for quite some time and released from a major manufacturer yeah that's the bit that shocked me when i unboxed this this was nothing like what i was expecting should we show but, them the face first yeah are we going to play it no, no, no we should show them, show first. them the face, yeah. yeah you get on that. guys comment below first of all what brand do you think that is there's a few major clues in yeah, there yeah. and then also what club do you think it is you've got five seconds guys comment below well not many will guess what it is Anyway, let's have a little go. This are really, uh, there's no green past this flag, but we'll have a little bit of a... Nearest to pin, uh, loser gets the coffee later. <laughs> I've, I've got the sausage butties. Or the sausage, <laughs> sausage butties. Butty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on, let's make sure we do this club justice. Oh, Andy, you're giving us such a treat today. Well, that's not bad, is it? Not bad. No, I would take that any day of the week. So I can now reveal the club because... Yeah, it was a decent shot, but this is the Ping Chipper. And that looks like no other chipper I've ever seen before no. in my life. And that's the first thing to mention. The biggest surprise for me was when I unboxed it, I was expecting that traditional look, plenty of loft. Yeah. Kind of, it's, it's not like a putter with loft, isn't it? You normally yeah, see yeah. plumber's neck. This looks like effectively an iron, but the way it's set up in terms of uh, the shaft, the lie angle, the width of sole, it's got a nine iron loft. And the thing I like about it is this. I know we've got someone behind us, so I'll be very, very quick, is that I would never put a chipper in my bag because I'd be too embarrassed to. Yeah, right? but you don't want to know. You put that in your bag, and it just looks like it you're looks pulling like out a standard iron. It looks like a driving doesn't it? Yeah. I, I want to tee off with that at some point today. Um, can go. I see if I can get closer than you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that broke a little bit left to right. Yeah. I've left that short, but that is so easy to And strike. it's a tough one to get used to as well. I've been playing with it for the last two days, and... Uh, I've got to say, you know, it didn't start off great, but as I, I've got used to it... I even like how it's got the tungsten waiting in the toes. That's so right. It, that is amazing, that. That's thrown me. It's, it's really the most interesting product. 
that they've uh, they've brought out. The really interesting thing for me here, Andy, is how good it feels. Because that, it just feels like a Ping i5-10, i5-20. The most impressive thing for me, mate, was that uh, keep me up. Did you like that? Yeah, very impressive. I might be replacing Ronaldo at some point. That's cool. <laughs> Would you, have you hit a full shot with it? I hit, oh, Ping say 40 yards in, and I went from 100 in um, yesterday. Oh my Lord. Yeah. How good is that? The turf interaction. That wide that. sole as well. And Can I review this later? Yeah, it's the lie angle as well, isn't it? Oh, it's just delightful. Because the lie angle almost makes, it stops it going right, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anyway, what's your next club, Andy? Sorry, I've got totally sidetracked there. Back onto mine. What's that, that could enter your top five. It, it could be well, a late... I, I've, uh, no, because I've, I've got them. Now, I really don't know where we're going to go after the Ping Chipper. Guys, that's just been released as well. This video's coming out the day after. The day after, is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I don't know when that is, but... You, you really surprised me with that. So I can see what's down there. I'm going to show them that. before we hit it again. Okay. Because I, this was very nearly in mind. This is the TaylorMade Stealth, the new DHY. Yeah. Not a total game changer in terms of the Sim DHY, which was a good club by itself. Yeah. But I think for this, so many people should look at this instead of the UDI. So yeah. many golfers will benefit from it. Yeah. Well, I almost, um, I really ate my words a few, almost a week prior to these being released. Yeah. I should have said about two irons in particular, two UDIs were for me and for my level of golfer and average golfers were kind of like so difficult to yeah. use. Uh, not worth having in the bag. The thing about the DHY that I really like is that it's called, I think that DHY is driving hybrid. It so is, it's yeah. kind of a bit more of a bulbous back, a um, bit more meat on the bone in terms yeah. of and kind of width to sole and all that. Yeah. And they've introduced a five option as well. And I think that's the first time they've done it. So. But again, for me, the longer end of the bag is difficult. Yeah. So even possibly playing a five and a four DHY instead of those long irons. It's exactly what TaylorMade claimed to try to do with this, isn't it? Just sort out the top end of people's yeah, bags. Yeah. So, Andy, can we eat three fairways in a row here and a gimme chip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, I've, I've actually got the three. Um, yeah. Which, again, I would possibly, for me, it scares me a little bit. Um, but we shall see. Another nice draw, it's just going to yeah, too they... much. Is that over the bunker? Oh, yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, they've got away with it. We're off the yellows, that wouldn't have got away with it off the white, but yeah. again, it was, um, yeah, not the greatest swing by me. But you've seen the ball absolutely yeah, fire away off it. with that, don't we? And they got away with it a little bit. And important, the average golfer plays off the tees that they enjoy the most. Yeah, I'm a big advocate of that, right? What shot do you want? Well, again, I think I think the thing for me is the, the the ability to manipulate, which I wouldn't be able to do. So if you can hit it, if you can hit a lower butt, which you probably would anyway, <coughs> but if you can hit that lower ball flight with it, yeah. If I try and play a low right to left, there, just making sure we hit that fairway. Yeah. And again, you kind of know that you get that forgiveness by looking at the leading top edge of the club. Yeah. Super. And again, it's just stayed out there straight, just like the last one. It's that forgiveness element where maybe it's not the most workable right to left or left to right, it's perfect, but though. that's what you want because it's yeah. not going to miss the fairway. Absolutely. One club left, guys. Stay tuned. So, Andy, we're just discussing the clubs so far. Yeah. A few similar clubs. Yeah. One totally different club. What is it you think that the average golfer is looking for? Well, I, I, I mean, for me, it's that kind of element of forgiveness. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing with all these clubs is trying to, uh, they're, they're the longer end of the bag. I'm all right, and more, most golfers are all right with, with a 9-iron nine nine and whatever yeah. in their hand, but the minute it gets to that sort of 5-iron end, that's when it's been something, it's a struggle. And that's what I've concentrated on in videos of recent months, and that's yeah. the sort of, the next one is going to be the same. No, uh, I'll, I'll, no clues, but I mean, it's a similar sort <laughs> the of The next one is a club that my dad would absolutely live for, so stay tuned, guys, yeah. we hit that next, then we're going to see how many I guess right. Hmm. Andy, 200 yards and in yes. is a yardage that most golfers do not enjoy. No, and me your neither. final club is going to be perfect for that. Hopefully. We shall see. So it's been a big year for... I've seen the head cover, I haven't seen the club. But a big year for these guys at TaylorMade. Yeah. It's not got a red face on it, I can tell you that much. Yeah. But it is... Oh no, we're not revealing it. Not yet, we? not yet. Not yet. No. So we're going back to hitting the shot first. Yeah, we'll hit the shot first for the finale. I don't know whether we're winding, I don't know whether this is going to be a bit of a stretch here. Well, if you don't, I might. <laughs> yeah, you might. I don't we'll think I a, can. We'll have a go. Yeah. Uphill into the wind. It's a club that... I think this is going to be likely more... Yeah. We're going to be... We ain't going to get... Pop it up as well, hopefully. Yeah. 
That's the idea behind the club, is that a, a clue? It, it, without doubt, yeah. But um, yeah, maybe not the right selection from, uh, from where we're stood right now. Oh, wow. Andy, that ball fly is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, just be off slightly more than we can chew. I'm going to yes, hit one. You might be able to get there. I don't know, because I think you hit that really well. I'll hit one, then we'll discuss this a bit. That looks incredible, because there's someone behind us, and I, we hate holding people up. Yeah, good strike. It's turning a bit with the loft, but that is so easy to get up in the air. Yeah. Should we discuss this further up here? Because yeah. I need to uh, have a minute with that, I think. So, two gorgeous towering ball flights there. And do we like to reveal yes. what this is? Okay, so the cool story behind it as well. Your video is out today. So yeah, my out. video goes out today, which is um, it's a nine wood from Stealth, uh, from Taylor Made, adding to their Stealth range. And uh, the reason I asked Taylor Made if we could get hold of one of these was because uh, DJ put one in his bag for the last two majors. Yeah. So it was widely reported that he had uh, seven wood in the bag, but then he goes and sticks a nine wood in, and I'm thinking, well, look, if it's good enough for DJ, yeah. maybe I should have a look at it. And uh, it's 24 degrees aloft. As you've seen at a dress, it sort of presents a lot it of really loft. really does. Looking down at that, you can see, guys, how much loft that does present. That's crazy. Yeah. But still got all that technology of the Stealth Fairway woods. Yeah, and it's the same mentality throughout every club that I've put forward, really. Into It, it just breeds a bit of confidence, seeing yeah. that loft, but on a... On a the, bulk of a fairway head you don't think you can really go wrong no it pops a ball up really high and that can be like i said from the shot we played not ideal so if it's a bit breezy out there then yeah you've got a few issues but like i said for the majority of average golfers it would definitely fit into my top yeah. five for 2022 well and that's an amazing top five i'm going to put on screen now my guess for your okay. top five how many do you think i got I, th I, th I think you might surprise you. I think maybe maybe one, two. I didn't get any. Did you not? No. I didn't get any. No. no. They were maybe a little bit left field, and a lot of these came late in the day for me in the last couple of months. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I can understand why there might be a few surprises. But in a there. fantastic array. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and check out the Vice Versa video that we yes, do over absolutely. on your channel. Um, and apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.